The proverbial MAGA season is not the ideal time to be out of house and home. But Janina Alfred and her mother, Brenda Augustine, have no choice after their landlord allegedly went behind their backs and removed their goods from number 12 Kelly Street with three gang suppression unit officers watching. I left and where I forget where I'm going to do and I jump in our cab and I reach. And when I reach, that because most of the stuff me done the outside, all in my room, they never gang got touch because they said they want nothing go missing, but then me done gone in and take out the mattress they have for the bed. So I, I don't get uptight. I say where they will go and take out things when there's nobody there and they not bring no written notice saying that we have to come out of the house and the landlord said that how he rent the house to one and one next man and the man work said that he the landlord, he never did I went them the three GSU and the next landlord was say he that the owner of the whole property and everything made it so I asked the landlord, I tell her, so we the man there, we have dealing with Mama and the house business. He said at home, it will come directly, make we must wait if we want to wait. I said, all right. So he still have two young men up and down in the house to take out the stuff. The stuff is all of Augustine's worldly possessions. She is a housekeeper in San Pedro town, having moved from Belize City shortly after renting the house last September to seek work. At the time, she was two months behind after paying the landlord what she had owed. But the news of the eviction hit the single mother of four like a physical blow, made worse by the fact that some of her possessions are now missing and her family is living in scattered dwellings. I know to a fact these are some of my stuff where I find because then I had more stuff than this. My stove, refrigerator, washer, I mean bed, my clothing... I can't find most of them, right? This is the way I come and I find because the thing is, my mattress, never, what did they? Never did so. That my new mattress, what did they? And that the way, they are the way I find in you know, these areas. Now, the thing is, I want more and I need help from somebody to help me out because then at the end of the day, it's totally wrong. If it's the landlord and then GSU right now, my kids and we, just split up. She just stayed so friend, right? My son, he managed to, we try to get to leave money for Mr. Hyde, don't have much, but still thanks. He get to leave room where he is staying and nothing bigger, what, don't know, nothing proper. My little son, there between the leave room and my sister in law, there. Can he go to school? Right now, I have one of my next son with me. As I basically say, I back and forth, same way. Because I need some, I tired of this. I just need some uh, areas so we settle now. Forget about my kids when together. Because then I like, I feel like I didn't neglect my kids, but then all that. It's just that the morning of the day, I don't have no support, I don't have no help. You know, nothing right now. Augustine told us she plans to sue both the landlord and the police. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.